Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Now, Unai Emery, of course, as I said yesterday, he's just getting his feet underneath the table and starting to get himself into work mode as he looks to rebuild this Arsenal team and get them back challenging where we all want to see them. And uh, yesterday, news emerged that the Arsenal board are apparently willing to give him £70 million. They're upping the money from the £50 million they promised him to £70 million. Woo! Let's all have a party. Brilliant. Yes! £70 million. I'm sorry, that's still not enough money as far as I'm concerned when I look at the sort of players that are out there and available. Uh, £70 million. Nah. If they really, really want to back this guy, they've got to give him like big amount of money, in my opinion, if, you know, we are going to get back challenging properly for the league. Um, if it is 70 million, it's 70 million. But I just look on it and I say to myself, and I'm, you know what, take a look at the um, podcast that I did with uh, DT, the All Guns Blazing podcast. We talk about this a lot on the programme. And I just feel that, you know, if they truly want to get us challenging, they brought this new guy in, you really want to back him, give him the funds. Give him the right and correct funds to go out there and get the job done. And I still don't think, if they have upped it from 50 to 70 million, and it's all speculation, it's all speculation. Remember the other day what Ivan Gizidi said, he goes, uh, those who claim they know, they don't know nothing, you know what I mean? So um, it's all speculation at the moment. But if that is true, and it is about 70 million pounds, for me, still not enough, not enough. When you consider where we finished last year, how we finished, our performances, the players in the team, I still think that our team could do it more investment to get it back on track. Um, but anyway, let's wait and see what happens. One of the players that Arsenal have been very heavily linked with is Stefan Lichtensteiner. Now, um, I know a lot of people have been crediting this uh, link with David Ornestini, he, he put it out there um, yesterday evening or yesterday afternoon. But the first person to drop this story on me, and I'm going to credit him, is Turkish. Well done to Turkish. He told me about this first thing yesterday. Um, Lichtensteiner was at Arsenal's training ground at London Coney, um, and he was spotted down there. And he was down there and talking to Arsenal about a potential move to the Emirates Stadium. Now, you're going to look on it and say to yourself, Lichtensteiner, he's 34 years of age, you know what I mean? Why are we going for another old player? You know, <laughs> which is really funny because remember, Arsene Wenger used to have this thing at one time when once you hit 30, that was it. You know what I mean? You didn't even get a contract, or if you did, one year contract at best. But, um... Also, apparently very keen in bringing in Lichtensteiner. Now, Lichtensteiner is a very, obviously, 34, very experienced player. Um, he's won seven titles since he's been at Juventus. He's been there since 2011. I think he came from Lazio. And he's won seven titles. He's a Swiss international. He's going to be playing at the World Cup. He's still got his legs. He's still, you know, he, he's not like a player that looks to be, you know, finished. Played a lot of games last year actually, for Juventus. Not starting all the time, but played a lot of games. He had said that he was going to leave at the end of the season. His contract's running out and um, he's a free agent, which means lovely for Arsenal. Nothing to pay, free of charge. <laughs> you know what I mean? No transfer fee, which is what Arsenal always love. Um, but he's a free agent and it makes sense when you think about it. Um, ordinarily, I'll be looking at this and saying, oh my God, why another old player like, you know, Arsenal not showing our ambition. But, but when I look on it, you've got Hector Bellerin there in the right-back position. And if you bring in Lichtenstein as backup in the right-back position, I think that this is a guy that will really push Hector Bellerin. This is a guy that can talk to Hector Bellerin and talk to him about positioning and stuff like that. And this is a guy as well that he's a very, very fit guy. He's still got a lot of legs to him. And will push Hector Bellerin hard. If Hector Bellerin doesn't perform, he could find himself out of the team because this guy, Lichtensteiner, is a very, very good player. So I think this would be a very shrewd acquisition. Now, um, 
as I said, he was at the training ground yesterday, being shown around, uh, talking to Arsenal about it. There are some other teams that are interested in him as well. Um, but he could possibly be Arsenal's first signing. And I don't think that would be a bad shout if um, Arsenal brought in Lichtensteiner. It'd be really interesting to find out what you guys think. Um, but I think it'd be a quality addition to the squad and a very sensible one as well. And on a free transfer, makes a lot of sense to me. This one would be a very sensible signing. So let's see what happens with that. Another player being linked very heavily with Arsenal today is Emil Forsberg. Now, this guy is a very, very talented player. Um, and not an old player, still fairly young, 26 years of age. Um, valued at around about 40 to 50 million pounds. So he would cost a lot of money. I say the budget's gone, right? But um, quality winger, plays for RB Leipzig. Had a great season again last year and the season before that. He's been very consistent. Um, Swedish international. Um, and he'll be at the World Cup, definitely. And um, Arsenal, the, the talks, the, what everybody's saying is that Arsenal are currently in talks with his agent. Um, and they're very, very interested in bringing him in. Now, of course, Arsenal not the only club talking to him. Um, apparently, Atletico Madrid really, really interested in him as well. RB Leipzig would love to keep him, but already looking at replacements in case they lose him. Emil Forsberg would be a real upgrade and would be that. I've been saying for a while, we need a player that can play out, you know, from that wide position that's very tricky, that would cause lots of problems and draw people out and create more space for your likes of um, Aubameyang. And Emil Forsberg fits that mode perfectly. He's also a very creative player, you know, very creative player, very good passer of the ball. If you've seen him play um, in the Bundesliga, he is a top, top player. And I think if Arsenal were to pull Emil Forsberg off, I think that would be a massive upgrade um, on what we already have. Could Arsenal also be able to pull off the signing of um, Usman Dembele? Now, this one has been mooted for a while. I remember as a, um, the plug told me about this one. I know plug's been getting a lot of stick recently over um, his Allegri speculation. Um, he did get the Aubameyang one right, and he did tell me about this one at the same time he was chatting about Allegri, saying that Arsenal are very interested in Usman Dembele. And at the time, I was like, Usman, how the hell are Arsenal going to get Usman Dembele? Look how much money that Barcelona paid for him. However, um, it's emerging that Arsenal are very interested in getting him um, and are trying to see if maybe it could be structured in the way of maybe a loan deal. Um, Usman Dembele, he's, he's had a bit of a dodgy season in Barcelona. First of all, he got injured and was out of the team for a while. And then since he's come back, he's had flashes of brilliance, but he's just not really kicked it off. Um, and I think Barcelona are looking at it and saying he's a talented player, but you know, he's just not quite ready at the moment. Maybe send him out on loan. Now, obviously, they spent a lot of money on him, outlaid well, over £100 million on him. So, you know, they don't want to lose that sort of money. So maybe a loan move with Usman Dembele might be the next best thing. And Arsenal, of course, very, very interested in him. He is a brilliant player. I mean, you'll see him at the World Cup. He is a brilliant player. I think he's just lacked a bit of confidence at Barcelona. It's never easy playing next to Messi and Suarez. I was watching, remember watching one game where, you know, um, he put a pass through to Suarez, which he overhit and Suarez went mad. You know, so you're under a lot of pressure when you're playing for a team like that. Um, not just from the, the, the fans, but from the players as well. And you've got to add into and factor into the, um, the, the whole equation that it's looking likely that Barcelona might buy um, Antoine Griezmann. That, again, further freezes Usman Dembele out. So there is legs in this. It could be that, you know, Arsenal could be a, a place where he could end up. And, of course, Barcelona will probably not want to send him out to another team that's going to be in the Champions League that's going to give them a lot of competition. Arsenal, of course, not in that. So could make sense. I don't know. Will be very hard to get done, but certainly uh, Usman Dembele, Mikaterian, Abamyang, front three, or Lacazette in there. Wow, <laughs> that would be frightening. So it's all dreams at the moment, but it would be beautiful if it could happen. Um, but again, we're going to have to uh, wait and see how that one develops. What about this link today? Kennedy. Um, Kennedy, uh, of course, he plays for Chelsea. 
Last season, he spent um, a season on loan at Newcastle where he was very, very good. I was chatting to some of my mates up there, um, the guys from the Magpie channel, and they were really singing the praises of Kennedy. And he looked good in the games that he played. Now, apparently Arsenal are interested in signing him. There's a host of other clubs also interested in him as well. But Arsenal are interested in signing him. It's looking unlikely that he's going to go back to Chelsea because they bought in Emerson Palmieri from Roma for £70 million in January. So um, kind of looking unlikely that he may, you know, return and be back into the full team at Chelsea. So he could be looking for a move. And he's, again, good player, good player on the wing, can play wing back, very, very good player indeed. And I think, you know, shown love and given regular games, you would see what you saw at Newcastle, which is a very, very talented player, very quick, strong, good on the ball, you know, typical Brazilian and um, Arsenal apparently uh, showing some interest in him. Johnny Evans is back on the scene. Remember him, Johnny Evans? Well, Johnny Evans is back on the scene. Rumours linking Johnny Evans again um, with Arsenal. Uh, Johnny Evans, of course, West Bromwich Albion centre-back. Um, what can I say? He doesn't inspire a lot of fans, but he is a very experienced player. He is a leader, was a captain of the team. They did get relegated, though. Let's not forget that. West Bromwich Albion were relegated. But Johnny Evans, you know, I remember Manchester City were chasing him. He can't be that bad a defender. He is an experienced guy. And Arsenal, looking for experience in that um, position. Of course, Socrates is the preferred guy. It's looking like that they want there. But obviously, they're covering all bases. And Johnny Evans, who'd be available very cheap for around about £3 million, is still on Arsenal's radar. So let's see what happens with that one. And finally, Jack Wilshire. Now, um... What's happening with Jack Wilshire? Very cryptic message that he put out yesterday on his Instagram where he spoke about the, um, a new chapter. Now, a lot of fans seize on that straight away and are saying, is this indicating that Jack Wilshire may be leaving Arsenal? Still no deal signed at the club. I was told a couple of weeks ago that it was virtually done and that Jack Wilshire would be signing a new contract at Arsenal. But still no news on that new contract. And... Could Jack Wilshire be on his way out of Arsenal um, for free, for nothing? Which doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I, I, I'm still a big fan of Jack Wilshire, and I still think that Arsenal should be keeping a player like this. Um, I still think that he's a guy that, you know, he loves Arsenal. He is Arsenal through and through. And under Unai Emery, a guy that's really pushing him, surely will get the best out of Jack Wilshire. I want to see Jack Wilshire stay. But who knows what's happening right now. As I said, this very cryptic post on his Instagram. Could he be staying? Could he be going? What about Danny Welbeck as well? Is he staying or going? Um, I think we're going to see a lot of activity in the transfer market this summer with uh, Unai Emery coming in and this whole new structure at Arsenal. And it's going to be really interesting to see what sort of team we end up with um, once we get into the new season. But listen, some very exciting links today. Let's see what happens with that. And £70 million is in the frame. Yeah, OK, don't get too excited. Um, thanks for watching the show today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. And don't forget, with the World Cup coming up, AFTV are going to be doing the World Cup. So if you want to get coverage of the World Cup, as well as all of our excellent Arsenal coverage, keep it locked here on Arsenal Fan TV. We'll be back tomorrow.